So they're about 11 o'clock now. Oh, oh yeah, I see him. The pilot has detected something in the water below. Seabirds are also starting to gather at the spot. It's a pod of humpback whales. They're feeding and have created a curtain of bubbles that acts as a fishing net. The whales work as a team, corralling their prey into a circle while blowing a net of bubbles around them to prevent their escape. They're feeding on shrimp-like creatures called krill. Pretty much everything down here feeds on krill. Krill is the most abundant animal in the ocean and provides a crucial source of food for many whales, fish, and birds. They swim in large swarms, and humpbacks can gulp down hundreds, if not thousands, with one mouthful. Antarctic krill are the largest on Earth, growing to six centimeters in length, double the size of krill elsewhere. But despite their abundance, krill are rarely seen near the surface. It's considered a keystone species here in Antarctica, very incredibly vital um, to the overall structure of the ecosystem, just like the keystone in a building. Well, I'm really looking forward to the submersible dive in order to observe krill behavior and hopefully being surrounded by krill, either at the surface or at the bottom. Margaret Amsler believes that there must be vast swarms somewhere in the deep, and she hopes that they will find them with the submersibles. To find the krill, they've decided to anchor the Eleusia in a place where humpback whales are often sighted. The next morning, they are rewarded. The whales are bubble net feeding near the boat. If they can launch the submersibles quickly, they may be able to find the krill swarms. So in a deer venting here. On a deer, both subs passing two five zero meters. They're now at a depth at which whales are seldom seen. Whoa. And within minutes, they're in the middle of an underwater blizzard. It's thought that there are some 500 million tons of Antarctic krill in these waters. It's not hard to believe that this may indeed be the most numerous animal on Earth. Cannot see it at all. Wow. Yeah, for information, uh, 
we are completely surrounded by krill. It's a krill blizzard. The swarm is now so dense, they can't see an inch ahead of them. And then there is something unexpected, flashes of blue light. Oh, it's such a beautiful color of blue. Oh, let's do it. The light is produced by the krill. The krill have a series of light-producing organs on their underside that they can flash this beautiful shade of blue. They turn off the sub's lights to get a better view. Oh, yes. Oh, look at all that. All that photo for action. In the pitch black, it becomes clear to what extent the krill are signaling with their bioluminescence. But what the function of these lights may be is not yet known. On the seafloor below, bottom-dwelling predators pick off any stragglers. It's just amazing, I use that word, how many organisms rely on krill for their livelihood in the Southern Ocean. And with such vast numbers of krill, predators barely make a dent in the population. Why is it that Antarctic krill occur in such huge numbers? Astonishingly, the answer lies in the sea ice. The krill live under the pack ice, literally scraping off the underside to feed on the trapped algae. It's this year-round supply of food that allows them to flourish in such vast numbers. And the krill, in turn, provide food for many larger marine animals. Krill are at the base of the food web in the Antarctic Ocean. But the sea ice is also crucial to sustaining this life and the many gigantic animals that live here.